What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Tony Mack. A return of the Mac. What's happening, man? How y'all doing, man? Everybody that out there support the channel, my faithful 49er fans, the Tony Mack fans, and everybody that just ride with me because they love my takes on football, man. Just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you. I really appreciate that. I'm a small YouTuber, and as a small YouTuber, we love the love, support, that y'all show us when y'all like our videos, share our videos, tell your friends about our videos and everything, man. So I'm not going to act like I'm too high and mighty to give thanks to y'all, man. And if y'all continue to uh, want to support the channel, y'all love the, the channel, y'all love me talking about football and anything like that, all I ask you to do is simply continue to hit the like, share, or subscribe to the channel, man. With that being said, y'all, I like to talk about my San Francisco 49ers in the crumbling that we doing y'all that was imaginary bread i just had in my hand right there that i was just crumbling you know the the 49ers man we 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 gotta be real about us right now y'all we gotta be real honest about what's going on with the san francisco 49ers y'all and we're not a good team we're not a good team man it's obvious we're mediocre at best which i know get it genius we already know that Y'all are not a good team. Who doesn't know that a 5-16 and 16 is not a good team? Right. But why? What happened? What broke us down, man? I get it. Injuries, yeah, we could talk about that. Um, some people are saying that Kyle Shanahan isn't a good coach. I think if you don't think Kyle Shanahan is a good coach, I should question your football knowledge. I think if you're talking to me about football and you're trying to get me to believe that Kyle Shanahan is a terrible head coach, in the NFL, you know, a guy that been to, I don't know what, two Super Bowls as a head coach, one Super Bowl as an offense coordinator. Yeah, we know about the 28 to 3 debacle. You know, I still think was scripted. Yeah, I'm going to say it. I think it was scripted, but we know about his, his past debacles. But who would say a guy with that type of resume is a terrible head coach? So, yeah, if you're that person, I'm probably not going to respect your football knowledge. Just going to be honest with you. Um, some people are saying that, you know, maybe our schemes are old. Maybe we just gotten old, you know. Maybe that could be the case. I don't know. I don't know. But I did not expect us to be five and six right now, y'all. I, I knew we were going to take a step back. Usually it happens when a team loses Super Bowl. They always take a step back. But I didn't think we would just get completely not completely off the map, y'all. I didn't think it would, it would look this bad. And it's, it's really – looking this bad you know the first loss to minnesota like ah, eh, minnesota's a good team then we lose to la we lose to the cardinals for full quarter blundles now i'm wondering what's going on here what's you know maybe new team new office coordinator i'm sorry not new office coordinator new defensive coordinator new special teams coach maybe that's the, the reason why we're making a few little mistakes you know then you lose a tough one to seattle now we just got embarrassed by the Green Bay Packers, as we should. They look like a good team. Look like they're going to go far in the playoffs. And us, we look like we can hope to make the playoffs. You know, not surprised. They're also, Brock Purdy wasn't in the game, so you without your starting quarterback. Christian McCaffrey, not at 100%, probably not even at 50%. We just love him because we love what Chris McC Christian McCaffrey has done for our offense and for our football team. But right now, he's literally out there because of a name. It's obvious Jordan Mason is the better running back. I don't get why we just want to keep up uh, overloading Christian McCaffrey unless, you know, Kyle Shanahan, we're tanking. Unless you know this season is over with and you're just trying to get Christian McCaffrey back in somewhat of a football shape, I don't know. Or maybe we did have our playoff hopes. I'm guessing with the Seattle game, we definitely had our playoff hopes alive. Um a loss to Green Bay like this, I'm not sure where we're going. I'm not sure where we're going. I do know as a faithful 49er fan, I'm going to watch every game, man. I'm going to watch it till the ship fall off, to the wheels fall off, y'all. But to be honest with you, I, I feel like a parent of a dumb kid that then failed twice in a row already. And this is third year taking the same class. Like at this point, I'm going to watch and support you because I got love for you. But I don't expect y'all to do much. I'm really just going to keep it real with you. I don't expect you to do much. I don't expect us to turn it around, y'all. We five and six. At this point, do you really believe that we have what it takes to win the last six games and turn it around like we did a few years ago? You know, I know we talk, we 
We had a season where we started off three and five and made the playoffs. Went to the NFC Championship game. I remember this. You know, I know how the 49ers like to turn it up late on in the season. I get all of that. I, I overstand my team. Y'all, I've been a fan since I had a hairline for a long time. I've been a fan for a very, very long time, y'all. So I do know the history of the San Francisco 49ers. But I also know one history of the, of the 49ers that just tells the same history of every NFL team. After you lose a Super Bowl, after you've been good for a long time, you know, Super Bowl, NFC Championship games, Super Bowls, all that type of stuff for years, so many years straight, you're going to fall off. You know why? Because the talent on your team is going to get paid. It's simply that. It's simply that, y'all, as fans, y'all. Honestly, this is just our time for us to digress as a team, you know, Debo Samuel been putting in work for us, y'all. We had to pay him. Christian McCaffrey, in his tenure in the NFL, has been probably the best running back in the league. Arguably him and Derrick Henry, maybe Saquon Barkley. Some could even throw Ezekiel Elliott in there. I know y'all laughing at that because of recent years for Zeke, but when Zeke first got to the league, that ball was moving like a train. It ain't nobody was stopping him. So Christian McCaffrey, in his tenure, he has been a top running back. We had to pay him. You know what I mean? Uh, Brandon Ayuk, I'm happy he's got paid. I don't know if we should have paid him. He would have got paid with another team, though, so I, I understand it. George Kittle, worth every penny. Trent Williams, worth every penny. Nick Bosa, worth every penny. Moody Ward, worth every penny, you know. Shout out to Moody Ward, man. We understand what he's dealing with, y'all. You know, I don't like to talk to people's family buildings, especially stuff like that, so shout out to Moody Ward. Honestly, y'all, um, in uh, – then uh, I'm going to mess his name up. Demo. I'm going to mess his name up, y'all. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. Demo. Deserve this paper. Uh, you know, our other cornerback, uh, hard hitting, do his thing over there. He deserved his paper, y'all. So we had to pay these guys. And unfortunately, when you have to pay your top players, you're going to eventually lose your top players. And we're going to have to accept the fact that they're at a point where now I can rest my body. I can sit out. Nick Bosa just got a good bit of money. In his contract, you know, last year, y'all, I'm not mad at Nick Bosa if he's going to take a little time off to get his body together. We're not going anywhere. We're not going to the Super Bowl this year. I'm not mad if C-Mac want to take the rest of the season off to get his body together. Hell, I want him and Debo Samuel to go ahead on and do that. Go ahead on and, and heal up, man. So, y'all, at least if we get y'all back next year, y'all will be in better shape than what y'all are now. Let Drake Greenlaw go ahead on and sit out for the rest of the year. I think we might as well go ahead on and tank it. You know, I don't – I really don't see the purpose in seeing if we – I don't think we're going to Super Bowl. I'm just going to keep it real with y'all. I'm not about to try to sound smart on this thing. And I'm going to talk my normal dummy. I don't think we're going to the Super Bowl. I don't think we have it. You know, I don't think we have it this year, and it, and it shows. You know, it shows. I, I'm impressed at the run we have. Do I think we need to get rid of Kyle Shanahan? I think that's the dumbest thing ever. You know what I mean? We to me to get rid of a head coach after one bad season sounds stupid. Kind of like this uh years ago when we did it to Jim Harbaugh. Jim Harbaugh, NFC Championship game first year, Super Bowl next year, third year NFC Championship game, four year go eight and eight, and we cut ties with him. Come on, y'all. This is the same thing that happened. You cannot be good for that long and not expect to have one bad year. What are we, Bill Belichick? Come on, man. And we saw how he looked without Tom Brady. No diss to Bill Belichick. He's the greatest head coach of all time, NFL-wise. But it happens. I think we're just having a digression, y'all, and we just got to accept that, you know. But if you're a real 49er fan, you're still going to support your team. You're going to ride it out. You're still going to say F you to the L.A. Rams. You still ain't watching the, the Cardinals, and you definitely ain't watching the She-Hawks. So, we still going to hate on y'all. We hope that we stop y'all from winning the Super Bowl. We still going to root against every other team. We still going to say F you to the Dallas Cowboys. That's still going to be there. But I have accepted that I am just watching my team like a parent who watches a dumb child who know that they're not going to pass because they didn't fail biology for the third time in a row. If you do pass it this time, I'm happy for you, but I know you won't. That's how much I'm watching San Francisco 49ers. Anyway, y'all, man, thank y'all for tuning into the channel, y'all. Tony Mack, where it's always real, but it's always love. Peace.